Hello peeps, welcome along to the video. So if you're new to the channel here and you find anything helpful or interesting, I would really appreciate a like and subscribe. And that's all I'm going to say on that matter. So anyway, I've come back to the 360 collection because I'm refreshing it all. I'm finalizing my 8 terabyte build and I'm also in the process of building a 12 terabyte build as well, which is mainly going to be the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 all reconfigured, some extra games going into it and more playable games going into it as well. So now on my build, I've got about 110 games and according to the sources that I've found, it's probably about 106 of them that are fully playable to completion. I don't know how accurate this is, it's just what I've found and what I've read and what videos I've seen. But I've also added a few games in here that are really close and I've played them and got quite far on them or, you know, I've had a good experience with them. Even though certain sources are saying that they're not playable or they have certain in-game issues. So before we get started, I call this emulator Xenia. Now, a lot of people might call it Xenia, and all the titles that begin with an X and an E, I always pronounce them Z. So, sorry about that. You can call it whatever you want, but I'm calling it Xenia. And also, before I crack on, if you purchase one of my earlier 8 terabyte builds, within the 360 system, there's some extra hidden games in there. Now, I hid them because it was really close to working, and they, they're good big titles that I knew they'd get working eventually, so I left them in there. So, on the video, I'll show you how to view them hidden files. And you might, if you update the emulator, which I'm going to show you how to do as well in the video, you might even be able to get a couple of them games working. I've got them working. So, right, basically, when you go to download Xenia, there's two different versions there's the master version and the canary version. So basically, for those who didn't know out there, the Canary version will usually be the most compatible because it's the most up-to-date version of the emulator. It's being updated weekly, working on fixes and getting new games working, basically. So that's the one that I mainly use. But also, while they're fixing these issues and getting certain other games to work, it also breaks other things. So the master version of the emulator is the most stable as such. I'm going to show you some games on here that work better on the master version of the emulator. But for the most part, the Canary is the one to go with. So basically, the Canary version of the emulator is where they do all the testing. It's like, it's, it's like a beta as such. People go in there and add different things to it, work different games, blah, blah, blah. So while I'm looking at building this 12 terabyte, the Xenia emulator is the one that I want to look at first because it's one that I've done the least amount of work on and it's improved tenfold since I worked on it. Saying that, it still has some big issues of stability. It crashes quite a lot. I'll show you a few crashes on the video where I'll, it'll crash at a certain point of the game, then I'll load the game back up and get past that part. There's certain games of video issues like Test Drive Unlimited, which I'll show you, which is pretty funny, the FMV at the start, how it's all twisted up. And literally with Test Drive Unlimited 2, the first time I played it, I loaded it a couple of times and it crashed as I went to, to start racing, basically. And then I thought, I'll try it one more time. I tried it, loaded it, played it, and I was on it for about two hours solid without it lagging or crashing or bugging out. It worked perfectly, so... It's not the most stable emulator, but it is absolutely miles better than what it used to be. So basically we'll be downloading both versions, Xenia and Xenia Canary. And we're going to start off with Xenia Master first. So basically when you search Xenia, it's going to be this top option here. And where it says download, go ahead, click that. And then when it goes into the first page, the master option here at the top, you click that and it will automatically download it as a zip file. Now this will download into your download folder, so we'll go there now. You'll right click the file, extract it using whichever software you use. I use 7-zip, which I recommend. It's free and it's really easy to use. And as a standalone emulator, that's basically it. You can load the games up through this and just run it and play it as it is. You don't have to add any BIOS files or anything, it just works. So basically you just double click Xenia XE and then in the top left hand corner, you'll go to file, open, Direct it to one of your games where you've got your games downloaded. And load it up by clicking open at the bottom. Now while the game loads up, if you look here at the top, you'll see that the Xenia Master was last updated on the 14th of September in 2023. So it's been a little while. And also if you press function 11 here, it will enter full screen mode. So that's just running the emulator in standalone mode. If you want to update the emulator in Retrobat, you basically just need to highlight the files that you've unzipped. Right click copy. 
then go to your retroback drive go to the emulators folder go down to Xenia click inside there and then right click and paste it now when it asks you to replace or skip the files you've got to replace them basically to overrun now that's your retroback version of Xenia updated so then we'll go to Xenia Canary so when you search Xenia Canary again you're going to be clicking the top option here once inside on the right hand side you'll see where it says Canary Experimental latest at the side of it you're going to click that then the Xenia Canary zip here click this and it will automatically download it you're going to do exactly the same as you did before we're going to unzip them to use them as a standalone emulator Now you'll see with Xenia Canary, it's downloaded two files. As soon as you load a game up, it's going to create some files and it's going to create a config file. So if you're wanting to update your RetroBat, copy the two files over before you load a game. Because basically, if you've altered some settings and some the configuration file on your main Xenia in RetroBat, and then you copy over the new config file, it's going to delete all the options you've done. So basically, you just copy the two files over before you load a game. And that's the same, that's basically updated the Xenia Canary emulator. Now that's updated, we'll load a game standalone. Basically in the background there, you can see it's created a few extra files and a folder, including the config file. And again, you can look here, the Canary version was updated on the 11th of April, which was last week, basically. So now if we go to the Canary folder, you'll see I have this patches folder. I'll stick a link to it in the description down below so you can download it for yourselves. Now when you open this folder you'll see loads of different files all for the different games and also the different versions of the games. I'll go to Forza Horizon. Now basically all you have to do is right click the file whichever game you want to edit some settings for. Edit it with a notepad or notepad plus plus and I'm going to remove the motion blur and all you have to do to do that is change the faults to a true. Now removing the motion blur is going to improve the performance. For me it makes it look better as well. Also all the other options in here will, will improve your performance as well. But if you've got a beefy PC you, you're not going to need to mess about with them. But also whatever you change in here. Obviously if it, if it affects the games in a negative way or it breaks something. You can just come back here and change it back to fault. So it's trial and error you know you don't, you don't need to worry about it. So we'll have a quick look at Forza running without the motion blur. Now Fable 2, you'll see there's two, well there's four files here because basically it's, it's copied two of each but you should really only have two files there. One's for the standard version of the game and one's for the game of the year platinum edition which is the one I've got and I'm going to show you what I've edited in here. So as you can see in here there's a lot more options you can change. I've basically added the 60 frames per second mode I've upgraded the resolution by changing the 1280 x 720p patch to true. And I've also disabled the MSAA option, which apparently makes it a little bit more stable. And at the bottom here, I've unlocked the website items, also the collector's edition items. So there's basically a lot of things you can alter. If it's not running right on your computer, you can come in here, try and change a few of these options. And as I said before, if it breaks anything or something starts working wrong, you can just come back in here and put them back to faults. So now I'll show you a few issues I've run into and also a couple of games that run better on the Xenia Master than they did on the Xenia Canary. So firstly, Bioshock Infinite, which is a royal pain in the backside. So when I was putting all the games in, according to the sources, Bioshock Infinite was fully playable. Although a lot of people was complaining about it. It's pretty hard to find the stability information for Xenia. Not like RPCS3 for the PlayStation 3 where you can just go on the website and click it. There is certain stuff that it shows, but it's, it's a bit awkward and a bit slow going to find. Now Bioshock Infinite, when I first set the system up, I clicked it started playing it worked perfect now then when i come to make the videos to do all my little video clippets for the system it wouldn't load 
so I tried it about 10 times. I deleted all the cache files, anything that it saved, I kept deleting them, trying it again, trying it standalone, wouldn't work. And then another time I'd been doing some other games and I clicked it again just out of curiosity and it loaded up again, which is this here running. And then now since here, it's not worked again. I'm leaving it in the system because I know some people get it working and including me, the next time what I'm hoping to do, if I do get it loaded again, I'm going to get it to a part where I can save it and then see if the save game will load. But at the minute, the last 15 times I've attempted to load it, it didn't work. Next, the LEGO Star Wars collection. First time I went to play it, it locked up on the FMV and crashed. Basically, it wouldn't go any further. And then I reloaded it and it went straight past it. So that's what I mean. Sometimes it's a little bit unstable. You might have to load the game a couple of times. And then this is the Test Drive Unlimited 2. As I said earlier on, there's some funky stuff going on here while they're dancing. I mean, I don't know how they're doing that with their legs, but, but it looks kind of funky. As I said, the first couple of times I tried this, it crashed, and then I played it again, and I sat and played it for a couple hours, and it run perfectly. This time doing the video, it just worked first time straight away. can select secondary menus such as the radio, window position, and other options. And then Marvel vs. Capcom, I was pressing the button to get through it as quick as I can because I'm not a fan of fighting games, I just wanted to get it done. Click, click, click fast and it, it crashed the game. Then I loaded it back up straight away, went a little bit slower and it went straight in and played perfectly. Normal. Welcome to the world of Marvel vs. Capcom 3, where the finest heroes assemble. Get ready for the fight of your life. City. There can be only one winner. Come on. Fight! Learn your place. Live and let die. Fight! Hold up! Now when I was playing Transformers with Cybertron, it crashed here at this exact point. So I reloaded it straight back up, played it again, and it went straight past that point. So basically that's showing you the emulator is a little bit unstable, but sometimes if you load it back up, it will just go past the part where it crashed at. So next I'll show you a couple of games that run better on Xenia than the Xenia Canary. First one being Crash Bandicoot, Mind Over Matter. Now when I load this up with Xenia Canary, it basically took ages on the loading screens, it was taking a real long time. There's a little uh, animated footstep that goes over the screen, which should make a noise as it does it. And when the game actually loaded in the end, there was no sound on it. There was sound in the menus, there was sound as stuff were loading up, but straight away as you started playing the game, the sound went. And now I load it up through the Xenia Master, 
and all their mirrors have gone. It loads up straight away. It's a lot faster. You can hear the little footsteps. And when the game starts, it's got full sound. Now also I had this with Wolfenstein as well, which I'm pretty sure I recorded the footage for, but I can't seem to find it. So basically with Wolfenstein, as it was loading, there was some graphical issues. It was twitching and had some funky stuff going on. But then when you actually played the game, it didn't look too bad. But loading it up through Xenia, all them issues are gone and it just run perfectly. So as I say, it's trial and error. Try them on one, if it's not working, try them on the other. So basically that's it, it's really easy to set up, really easy to get going, whether you're using Metro Battle standalone and you want to play old Xbox 360 games. So now I'm going to showcase the games list off, I'm going to show you all the artwork that I've added and how it looks, and then I'm going to show you gameplay of all the games. So basically all the videos here are me playing the game with the emulator. I think there's probably three or four that aren't my videos, that aren't me playing the game. All the others is actual footage of me captured on the Xenia emulator. They're off, innit? I hope the Guildmaster won't be too upset when he notices that I've stolen his compass. It'll be more useful for a treasure hunter. I got it. Don't just push blocks around without thinking about it. They'll collapse, and you could put yourself into an impossible situation. A force of unknown size aligned with a fringe religious sect called the Brotherhood of the Dark Rancho. The defenders were overrun, but not before making. crouch to get under the tape. Nicely done. The choppers are on their way.
Inspector, for more details. Did you hear what Carter said? No, what? I don't like it. Albion used to be nice. Welcome to all those festival racers who just rolled off the ferry. Some of these cars, wowza. I think one of them was the new Lamborghini. What was it called? Hit that button to open the door. Maybe the light mass bomb hit him harder than we thought. Or maybe something else is going down in the hollow. I don't know. Let's get upstairs and see what's on the desk. To be, Lieutenant. <laughs> it's been too long. You should have come out earlier. Think of all the girls you single brute must back up. Go, go. The power of things up I might actually get finished before tea now I, I hate the rattlings I just love Skadik and I don't like bugs <laughs> Major ruin form can help you get up ramps and Why not? 
try some shooting practice. Select a target and squeeze off a... at your command. Let us continue. Follow me if you wish to study the finer points of combat and minion control. You're kidding. All this security just to... What the hell is that? <laughs> Looks like there are still some Nosferatu left. Take him out, Sid! Yeah, it's a dream come true. Now let's move. Get down on the ground. all yours now. Make a quick cupcake. Hey, you almost forgot. I left you a little present on the bench. Hey, see that icon? Yeah, the attack button icon that appears when you're dodging? That means you can counter it. Yeah. Tokens can be used to upgrade characters and web abilities in the upgrade lab. Right here! Oh, 
on that high strike. our agents waiting on the other side. On your knees! Three directly in front of you. Afraid?
won't be too upset when he notices that I've stolen his compass. It'll be more useful for a treasure hunter. Hmm. That's interesting. Be off. I'm 
around without thinking about it. They'll collapse, and you could put yourself into an impossible situation. Collapse? Moving blocks around carelessly. First, try pulling a block to make some footing. All right, I got it. <clears throat> All right. All right, I got it. sect called the Brotherhood of the Dark Rancho. The Defendels were overrun, but not before making one last transmission. Shortly after this message was received, the sandstorm engulfed the facility and cut off all communication. We have reason to believe the storm itself is impenetrable. That's beautiful. crouch to get under the tape. Come on, let's go. Body's rocking as we speak. The patrolman on duty said there was a mannequin involved, just like the matchmaker. Whole damn city's crawling with sick killers. are on their way. Excellent. You smashed Cell's resistance. Air support's on its way to pick up the beacon prototype. To do your classic spin attack, quickly rotate the...
more details. Did you hear what Carter said? No, what? Said that he's not. The UAC cares about the quality of life of its employees. Please take advantage of our quality medical care services. He walked down a corridor. just rolled off the ferry. Some of these cars, wowza. I think one of them was the new Lamborghini. What was it called? Oh yeah, the Uruka. She is pretty. Welcome to Europe, people, and keep it tuned to Pulse. See what's on the desk.
Hit that button to open the door. Shoot it. Maybe the light mass bomb hit him harder than we thought. Or maybe something else is going down in the hollow. I don't know. Heads up, Delta. Some of these patients have rust luck. Okay, take position along these windows. I took the far side. Okay, Delta, I'm back online. We have confirmed Locust presence in the hospital. I repeat, Locusts are in the hospital. Yeah. Well, now we've got a power outage. Good day, Lieutenant. Like it was headed right for our convoy. Only Paddock knew what he was looking for. I'm the Tion Rati, the Otichio Rachovice. The Mongo de Kaji, die Mongo. Katsim, it's been too long. You should have come out earlier. Think of all the girls you've been missing out on. That is my camp depot, cousin. It is where I make all the money. Our country has women too. Yes, but only locals. Here we have white, black, the Puerto Ricans, and the Asians, Europeans on vacation. Single boot, plus backup. Go! Go! Get power on me! Speed things up. I might actually get finished before tea now. Akio is great for pulling objects. Depulso is what you need for pushing. All you have to do is aim, move your wand like this, and say, Depulso. Depulso. Depulso! That's it! It's 
good to be casting some magic for a change. I, I hate the rattlings. They're just bugs, Caddick. And I don't like bugs. Yeah. Looks like someone helped us out by knocking over this tree. Let's use it. Your sword alarm. You can't shoot a path or overgrowth. Major ruin form can help you get up ramps and slopes. Perfect for getting around this crumbling. You'll pay. Hmm. 
There's no one around. Why not try some shooting practice? Select a target and squeeze off a round or two. Press the X and B buttons while holding RB to switch weapons. Ready your weapon with LT. Then press RT to fire. How about a little shooting practice? Try hitting a coconut. Command. Let us continue. Follow me if you wish to study the finer points of combat and minion control. Of course, if you want to get straight to the smiting, then I shall meet you in the throne room upstairs. Your minions will follow you wherever you go, Master, unless you give them a task.
themselves offensive positions. Looks like there are still some Nosferatu left. Take them out, Sid! dream come true. Now let's move. Get down on the ground. You sure you want- You think you can take my crew? I'm taking worse hit- God, I love this Follow me. I know the way out. Okay, we gotta climb these pipes up to the roof. So, do you remember my brother? Isn't tough guy, wore purple, sure. Fun. 
Icon? Yeah, the attack button icon that appears when you're dodging? That means you can counter attack. Yeah! Hit the attack button when it shows up to hit your opponent back. By the way, counter attacks are unblockable. Tokens can be used to upgrade characters and web abilities in the Upgrade Lab. Tap the B button to grab enemies and objects. Tap the B button again to throw a held object.
weak. Takes one down the middle. Damon on with a single. Stepping in for the first time, Mark Teixeira. Teixeira going with a bunt. Over to first base.
Advance to the vehicle nearby. Delta 2, your turn. Move up to the debris. That thing isn't going to offer you much cover, but it's better than nothing. There's full cover straight ahead. Advance to that position. Delta 3, move to that vehicle dead ahead. <laughs> 